So who pierced Jesus? In the beginning of Revelation, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So if the Jews pierced him, then why would all the kindreds of the earth be wailing because of him? And you say, hold it, Ron, it wasn't the Jews who pierced him. It was the Romans. You're right. But it was the Jews who made the decision. So it's the Romans and the Jews. And the Romans, you could say, are Gentiles, and therefore it's the Gentiles and the Jews. And here it says all kindreds of the earth, not just Ro the Romans or not just well, Gentiles would be all the others, but not just the Romans and the Jews. It says, all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. I'll tell you why. Because of your sin. Your sin pierced Jesus on the cross. Let that sink in. Your sin pierced Jesus on the cross. That means every time you commit more sin, you add to the suffering of Christ on the cross. You heap that sin on him in his suffering on the cross. Let that sink in. You must stop sinning. And when you look at Jesus pierced on the cross, how can you not wail because of him? The perfect, blameless Lamb of God, Lambkin of God. The word is lambkin, little lamb. It is. The word in the Greek is lambkin, little lamb. The innocent, blameless, little lamb of God was violently beaten and pierced on the cross because of your sins. May the Lord bless you as you seek him with all your heart.